If you want to build a life that truly makes you happy, start by critically assessing what you really enjoy spending your time on. It's so easy to get caught up thinking about what might be practical or what might make you more money. What would get you more approval from other people when in reality, the only person you're really responsible to please and to make happy is yourself. And of course, even that is a luxury. It's not a basic human need to love your own life and to be truly fulfilled, but it is a higher level of existing and it sure feels a lot better than feeling depressed and miserable. To really get momentum and to make this happen a whole lot faster, to really build your dream life, a life that fully excites you and lights you up, it starts by figuring out what your ideal day is. What would you like to spend your hours doing? Imagine you had all the money in the world or all your other needs were met. What would you like to do? Because it is time that is the most precious resource of all. And if you misplace it, if you put it into something that you think you should be doing or that you feel obligated to do, no wonder you end up feeling unhappy. You can never expect to feel truly fulfilled so long as you are sacrificing and doing things despite yourself. It's coming from a place of desperation instead of inspiration. You really need to shift into a gear where you start asking yourself the hard and difficult questions. For example, is it more important to make the people that you love feel like you are doing what they want you to do so they'll be happy about you? Or is it a much higher priority to think about what truly makes you enjoy your life? And although the answer to that should be fairly obvious, what happens a lot of the time is we just kind of coast along into whatever path is the least uncomfortable. Whatever feels smooth, and not so full of resistance ends up being the path we take. This is how people often get an education where they learn about things that they don't truly care about, but rather that are maybe useful so they can get a career that will please their parents. But pretty much the same thing is happening if you feel responsible, like you have to take care of your family and therefore you take a safe job instead of taking out a load and starting your business. Anytime you avoid risk and rationalize it by saying things like, well, it's just more practical this way, it's safer, I have to think of other people, I don't want to be selfish, I don't want to take crazy risks, what if it doesn't pay off? When you go into this defensive mode, you're basically guaranteeing that you can't win because you're not even trying. Whether it's joining a new sports team, learning an instrument, or something completely different that would really light that fire in your soul, it needs to be done. You have to wake up. You can't just keep coasting along, doing the same thing, and expecting something different to happen. What really shocks me is how much somebody's mind can really be clogged up when they're used to living the same routine, the same pattern, and they use the same rationalizations, and then they have the same coping mechanisms to get them by, like overindulging with social media, or eating the wrong foods, or just not taking care of themselves. Some people turn to even more extreme coping mechanisms, like taking hard drugs or drinking way too much. But all of that is really just a symptom of the root cause. The root cause being that if you're not creating the life that you really want, you have to do things that temporarily give you a little spike in dopamine and make you feel good for this moment. Really, it becomes more about escapism than truly living and enjoying the reality that you are in right now. I'm about to share with you a couple more methods that you can use to really get your life on the right track, to build towards the dream life that truly makes you happy. But before I do, I just want to remind you that if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, have me help you really hold you accountable, build and strategize your life plan, what you truly want to move closer to your dreams every week, then I want you to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Go to eraphael.com. The link for it is in the description. Over there, you can book yourself a call. We'll talk. See if we're a good fit, and if so, I'll be personally supporting you and holding you accountable to achieving your goals and building the life that you really want. Again, if you want to take advantage of that, just go to eraphael.com. Link is in the description, just like I mentioned. If you really want to stop compromising and take things to another level, don't just build out your ideal day. Think about how you want to spend your whole week, your whole month, and the entire year. What would really make for some incredible experiences? What would you like to try? What would get you excited about living? What would wake you up in the morning with a smile on your face way before the alarm goes off? Maybe it's traveling to a different country. Maybe it's meeting new people. Maybe it's about learning a new language. Who knows what clicks right for you, 
But if you don't question it, if you don't draw it out, if you don't ask for it, of course you will never find it. There is so much potential that's laying dormant right now because you're being careful, you're making sure everybody else is happy, and you're not truly challenging yourself to push out of your comfort zone. I remember a time where all I wanted to do was to sit inside, play video games for 24 hours a day, and that was my only method to kind of survive. It was because I wasn't challenging myself. I didn't have any big dreams or goals or anything drawing me out and making me have to expand as a person. And what really snapped me out of it was a moment where I realized enough is enough. Maybe you can have a moment like that too, or maybe it's a different emotion that really hits home. However, the main point being to really transition out of a phase where you've been stuck and stagnant to really go towards the things that will make you extremely happy and fulfilled it requires an emotional decision too. Because believe it or not, you're not only a logical being who uses reason to make all the best quality of life decisions. Sometimes you really have to feel internally and ask yourself and your emotional compass, so to speak, what exactly would make me feel good? Another way of looking at it is what makes you feel heavy, bogged down, maybe even annoyed versus what makes you feel, you know, light. It's easy, it's fun, it's exciting, it's engaging. Using that very simple methodology of checking how something feels is a quick shortcut to really finding out if something deserves more of your time and energy. And when you combine that with really mapping out what you want to do, what happens is you charge your days full with life and joy and purpose and you take out the stuff that really, really brings you down. It sounds quite simple, and of course, if you just let it fly over your head or in one ear and out the other, then nothing will change. But if you take a moment to make a decision and really, really commit to yourself that you're going to shift things here, then I know that your life will look vastly different even just the short few weeks from now. Take charge. Don't be passive. Go after the things that really matter to you and don't allow for any other excuses reasons or weird rationalizations to get in your way. As always, I hope that you enjoy this one and I'll catch you on the next one.